Today's video is going to be quick, but I think you're going to love it because I'm going to show you how to paint abstracts. These are paintings that are done without reference or drawing from life. They are usually made up of simple shapes and lines and it might look complicated, but let me show you how easy it is. This design suits a rectangle size canvas, so this is a 9 by 12. And what we're going to do is we're just going to mark a middle line. Get yourself some low tack painting tape and you want to butt that up against the line that you've created and take it all the way across the canvas. And here's another piece on the other side and we just want to make sure that line is straight and it meets up with that line that you've drawn in. Now you want to use some polymer gloss varnish. So you're just going to put a tiny little drop on each side and we're going to use a wet brush to paint over the edges of the tape. And what this will do is it will stop any paint bleeding through the edge of the tape and you get a nice crisp line. Now you've done that, you want to grab your phalo blue Derivan acrylic and put a little blob there and a little blob there. Grab your Derivan flat brush and what you want to do is paint out these colours that you've just attached to the canvas. Now the reason you use a flat brush is because it really helps you keep that line straight. The other reason that it's important to use a flat synthetic brush for this type of work, apart from the fact that you get a nice straight line on the edges. It also helps you apply the colour with limited brush strokes so you get a nice flat application of colour. Once that's done, pull the tape off. Mix up some warm pinks using the Derivan Acrylic Scarlet Red and Titanium White. We're going to make two shades. The first shade is just a really soft pink. And now we're going to make a darker shade of that pink using a different brush so that we've got a brush allocated to each tone of colour. We're going to use that light pink to fill in those two shapes we have left on the canvas. Again, notice how we're using a flat brush. It just makes life easier when you're doing these sort of hard edged paintings. Now you want to grab that darker shade that you made up and apply it over that top blue square. But hang on, why are you painting over the blue, I hear you ask? Well, here, if you get yourself a cotton bun, you can use that to scribe back into the paint while it's wet and what you get is a really interesting blue line underneath. We're going to use that paint again on top of the yellow to do a similar thing. So again grab your q-tip and draw into that painted section but this time it'll be the yellow that jumps out. Now you need to put something in that yellow square. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that phalo blue and we're going to draw a very simple shape in there. The interesting thing about putting that laying that phalo blue over the yellow is you get that lovely green tinge coming through. It's like color mixing in layers. Now you've got that perfect circle, you just want to anchor it to that line underneath and just give that shape a bit more interest. Okay, so now we've got that blue square, we're going to paint in just an interesting shape with the titanium white. Just sort of mock it out 
with a, one of the smaller brushes and then you can fill it in. You'll need to do two coats. And there we have it, we're done. Created a beautiful, simple abstract in acrylics. Thanks for watching.